my father's work is, was a certain romantic element. He, uh, he was romantic, um, certain, um, a very emotional, naive, sophisticated at the same time. Um, uh, I can't, great taste. It's, uh, yeah. He had a studio in Soho, uh, now so trendy, but at that time it was, uh, you might as well have been in Siberia in New York. <laughs> and uh, there was nothing glamorous about that time. This was in the 50s. Um, that, that's one thing I remember going to his studio a lot. They were, they were very happy that I'm, uh, they were supportive of whatever I wanted to do. Um, especially, especially if it was in the arts, I think they would, uh, they would, they wouldn't, they might not have been as happy if I was something that was not, uh, uh, but they never encouraged me or discouraged me in any way. I think he doesn't like it when I describe the work <laughs> because, well, uh, but there is a certain, a certain optimism and rootedness. The two, the two things about him that are, are characteristics that I admire about him that you see in the work. Rootedness, a centered, he's a centered, grounded, mm -hmm. but then a sort of an upward reaching optimism and f fluidity of understanding musicality. This is, to me, a, a sort of a figurative piece. It has a, the lines of a contrapposto pose, and the discs are like the halos or coins. And they, and, uh, when my wife said about my optimism, it's something that uh, the lower circles are smaller and they increase in size as they rise up and uh, show that in this particular piece with the water, it, it, um, it, it just, it's about gravity, about water falling and about the work trying to fight gravity at the same time. Okay, 